Hello family, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your April Tarot Scopes, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. So guys, I hope y'all are hanging in there. I hope y'all are saying your prayers, doing lots of meditations, and connecting with each other socially online. With that being said, I'm going to keep these as high vibe as possible, okay? <laughs> and so let's talk about what's going on upstairs. On the third, I feel like some computer love is going to be coming through, maybe some sexy texting, because we have Venus entering Gemini, lots of flirtatious energy out there. And on the fourth, this is a very important day, guys. This is Jupiter conjunct Pluto, right? They're having a very important conversation. Remember on the 12th, Pluto had this conversation with Saturn, right? And now it's sharing the information with Jupiter, which will happen again in June and in November. Now, on the 7th, full moon in Libra, 18 degrees. 18 comes down to a 9. So what are we getting justice in? What are we closing the cycle on? On the 11th, Mercury enters into Aries. Communication is going to get very clear. Mercury likes to be in like a strong sign like that. It's no longer in water. So communication is going to be forthcoming. On the 19th, happy birthday, Taurus. It's your time to shine. We're starting off the monthlies with you this time. And on the 22nd, you have a new moon in your sign, Taurus. Congratulations. Important date on the 25th, Pluto will be going retrograde in the sign of Capricorn at 24 degrees. What does that mean? It's going to make sure that transformation is going to happen, right? So with that being said, we come to my favorite part, right? Y'all know I love pick a cards. I do them every morning in the car. If you don't catch them on here, you can catch them on Instagram. If you don't catch them on Instagram, you can catch them on TikTok. I mean, come on, it's tarot in the car. However, we're gonna do it for the month. So deep breath, which will it be? Will it be one or two? So if you chose card number one, you have Mother Earth energy coming through. And this energy is trying to tell you that it's time to heal a relationship with the way that you mother, the way you've been mothered, and with Mother Earth. This is also telling you to pay attention to your dreams. There's something of a nurturing that needs to happen. The mother, the maiden, and the crone comes to my mind. There's huge transformation with you in the way that you nurture yourself and others. Now, if you chose card number two... You have the night. It's time for you to communicate your honesty. Be exactly who you are. Stand up for yourself. You don't have to be aggressive with the way that you speak. However, with the sword being down, it still means that communication needs to take place. Speak up for yourself. Realize what it is that you truly want during this time. Start journaling. Work on those things. But get that communication out there, not only to others, but to your creator also, so that he can make a way for you. All right? With that being said, guys, stay tuned. These reads are going to be off the chain as usual. And guys, I love the comments, okay? So share with me which parts resonate with you. At the end of these videos, I'm posting my new prices. I will be lowering my prices while all of this is going on so that I can help um, as many people as I can. So with that being said, guys, big, big blessings, lots and lots of love, and see you in the reads. Hello Capricorn, it's Ari. Are you ready for your read, big baby? So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. The way that these reads are set up is we're going to go into a little bit of guidance, mind, body, and soul, hit up the tarot, do a little love, check on your health, and then end it with your crystal and also a message from the Pluto retrograde. So with that being said, if you're into this video, be sure you hit the like. If you haven't commented lately, be sure because YouTube is unsubscribing people who have not been participating. It's an interesting time, isn't it? <laughs> so with that being said, you're starting off with the Camelot's Oracle and you have Mordred, okay? I know it sounds kind of like, ugh, but this is dissatisfaction. And I feel like what you're doing is you're kind of like evaluating life right now, Capricorn, because your other cards look amazing. You're dissatisfied with some things. Um, there's a little bit of anger, sorrow, some negativity, maybe even some rebellion. You're just like, what? I can't do this anymore. So. Mordred has had plenty of disappointments in his life, and he's here as an example to, to, to show you a different way, to show you that if you want something different, you've got to do something different. 
So he is on his way to the honored path. The honored path is headed in the east. According to feng shui, the east is representative of family, health, things of that nature. And so in that area, you would want to decorate it with light colors like beige or yellow or skin tones, you know, very earthy, sandy. Um, greens or browns, blues. You want art with a happy family, no fire there. And you want to make sure that you're using square or rectangular wooden frame mirrors to bring in that energy. Now, the honored path is here. It's like this is when you're getting close to the end of a journey and that's why you're dissatisfied with something. You're getting to the end of something and you're realizing I could have so much more. Now, on the honored path, it's headed to the Sarah's. So Mordred wants you to ask yourself, okay, where is it at? Are you wiser now than this time last year? Can you look at the decisions that you are making right now and evaluate yourself and say, damn, I've come a long way. Now, in working creativity, yes, you're going to have some setbacks, but this is where you have to pay attention to the patterns in your life. Why are you having those setbacks? What can you do differently? In love and relationships, honor all types of love, earthly love, spiritual love, love from the children's, love from your wife or your, your lover, those kinds of things, honor love, okay? And for inspiration, do not rush, do not rush, whatever you do, Capricorn, do not rush, all right? Now, let's look at your animal energy, which is going in for your mental ability going on. And I love this llama card, it just makes me so happy, happy, happy. And this is Archangel Chamuel, okay? And this is energy connected to Venus. Now, now remember, Venus is going into Gemini. Whoo, baby, y'all better just be ready for a lot of what you doing, can I come over, how you been, people from the past just screwing up in your DMs, all right? Now, what they're trying to do is create happy boundaries, setting clear boundaries for yourself and others if you're in a relationship or looking for one, okay? This is pure love. It's just that your heart is full of love. Are you taking too much on when the llama shows up? You also might be fa facing some self-image, some confidence issues. It's time to take action, balance, have patience, but have stamina, okay? Be prepared to enforce your boundaries as you move forward. Now, on a physical level, happy, 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 big baby. But with this number coming down to the 26, it's like talk about the things that make you happy. Realize that you are the key to your own happiness, all right? And on a soul level, you have that of beef or birth, okay? And when this Akashic record comes out, this is for something new to start. Maybe it's an actual birth, okay? Maybe it's an old phase passing and a new one coming, because I keep saying there's going to be a surge, of, there's going to be a baby boom after this corona. <laughs> there's going to be a baby boom, a divorce boom, and a marriage boom. Like, it's going to be boom, 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 all right? Now, with this, it also goes with fertility, sensuality, and motherhood. There could also be the energy of romance in the air. I get a lot of romance going on here. But most of all, it's time for celebration. It's time for you to celebrate yourself and to celebrate others. So remember what Mordred's asking you. What's keeping you back from what you truly want? Now, we're going to jump into your tarot read. I'm going to give it a couple of shuffles. I'm going to cut the deck. What does our beautiful Capricorn sun, moon, or rising need to know? We have the eight of pentacles with the magician reversed. You need to learn some new skills. That's what they're telling you, especially with work situations. Okay, you might be learning new skills. You might be developing new skills. But I have you being manipulated by a new start. Some of y'all know that you need to start some new things, but you're afraid. Okay, change is hard. I don't care what people say. Change is hard. We all have our own way of dealing with things, all right? And we have to honor that. So if you know that you're having difficulty changing what needs to be changed, honor that. Ask yourself, why am I holding myself back from such wonderful things? What's really going on here, okay? So let's jump into your tarot read. I rolled a four, so this is going to be about your foundation. Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. I'm going to have to move this because I'm going to run out of space. Kara, strength reversed, high priestess reversed, nine of arrows. Okay, so I'm going to tell you, when I did the Leo read, I'm burning up. I don't know why. I just started reading cards and now I'm hot. Whew. When I did the Leo read, Mordred came out, right? But then I did the Leo read like twice, or it came out for Virgo. It came out for Leo or Virgo. I had to redo Leo like three times this week. So, way to go, Leo. 
Anyways, this energy that's coming out for you is definitely a family issue. There seems to be like a lot of energy coming in from an outside party. Um, and this does not have to be like somebody's cheating. This could be the meddlesome friend, the meddlesome neighbor, too many people in your business, family members, okay? When people say third party, everyone assumes it's cheating. So you apply it how it goes. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck to kind of get a feel for what's going on on the subconscious. We want to go back to somebody, back to the old way of doing things with the Queen of Cups, but she's reversed, so it's being manipulated. You saw all the red flags, the tower's fallen, you're the King of Pentacles here, okay? And you need to focus on what's going on at home, but your focus is somewhere else. Your focus is on what is she doing or what is he doing as opposed to what's going on here now i will be clarifying with the light seers deck and we have this eight of pentacles coming through and this is you learning new skills you are you as the queen of pentacles is holding it down you're also having very amazing dreams right now so write them down look at them see what's going on with that you do have a spirit guide coming in as the hidden influence but it's like you don't want to listen to it there's a lot of people coming back from the past okay with this um leo reverse the strength reverse some of y'all may be dealing with the sign of leo you feel like you were backstabbed by somebody or they have a like heavy leo in their chart now the high priestess reverse for me is like if you didn't if you didn't see it coming i don't know what you was looking at okay because i feel when the high priestess reverse comes out there's an issue i also feel with this queen and the high priestess reverse you're seeing things that you don't like and you need to react don't take it personally now it's time to clarify what is it going to be? Should it be upright? There is a lot of conflict, outside conflict going on that we need to learn how to deal with this. So how do we deal with outside conflict? What's going on here, Capricorn? Because you're sitting in your power, but in the past you were learning some new skills. Some of y'all could have been dropping people, but this is like a change in the wind. There's a change in direction. Things are changing. You need to sit in your throne of power, Capricorn. Let's see here. Let's get more energy here going on for you, my love. Double eight with the devil. This is definitely your energy with the double eight, with the eight of pentacles and the eight of wands. Some of y'all might be getting a job to go travel somewhere. You're going somewhere. You're doing things. You want to celebrate something. Definitely want to celebrate it, but you feel stuck. So why are we stuck? What's going on? Is this something that's just strictly mentally or is this something literally that you're tied to? Okay, so only you would know that answer. Now, let's look at this carob. What is the message of the carob? Because he's trying to bless you financially. Are you going to take it? It's all you ever wished for. <laughs> and for some of y'all, y'all are being shown something and you're just like, it's too damn good to be true. I don't deserve this. And you need to get out of that mindset so that you can take advantage of what's coming to you. Now, when I see this strength card reverse, you either, and I'm going to say it the way that my guides are saying it, so you don't have the balls to do what you need to do right now, Capricorn. So you need to man up or woman up. <laughs> Do what you got to do, because if you don't, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, shit, I should have done it. OK, now let's look at the oh, strength card had a lot of energy to it. All these cards coming out. Strength card, what's going on? Upright. Why do you, oh, you're afraid to build something new? So the way that I look at it is when I looked at your subconscious, there were things that you need to release, right? There was some releasing that needs to happen. You're dissatisfied and now you're having opportunity for satisfaction and you don't want to take it. What's holding you back? I feel like it's your mindset. And I also think that you're tied to things that you really should let go of. However, <laughs> seven of pentacles, nine of cups. You're birthing new things. You're co-creating. Some of y'all want to start something beautiful. And I'm looking at the soulmate card that's looking at me. Some of y'all will meet your soulmate or realize that you lost your soulmate during this month and want to reconnect. Evaluate the situation before you go and co-create because some of this can lead to a baby because there's a lot of fertility in you, Capricorn. Okay? Now, the high priestess coming through. Why is everything got to fall? <laughs> Like, why? <laughs> what is the high priestess saying? The three of cups upright? No, the three of cups reversed. Okay, third 
party situation, overindulgence, what's going on, Capricorn, with the devil and the three of cups, this is you or somebody that you know, and you. this is where you have to decide. Where are you going to take your energy? Is this person from the past worth letting them come back in? Do you need to focus more on yourself? Where is your head at? This is where you evaluate your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. Even if you're with a partner, this is where a real conversation needs to happen. Are we still on the same page? Are we still together? Are we still able to move forward? All right. Now, with the nine of arrows coming in here, the nine of arrows is coming in. So let's look at what's going on here. Nine of arrows. Nine of arrows. Let's see. Somebody is wanting to move. I have the hermit coming through for you. Move, Moving on from a Virgo, moving on, enlightenment, moving up and moving on. That double nine right there signifies to me you had 88, now you have 99. You are at the end of a road. You're at this place in life where it's time to focus on what needs to be done, right? And so with this double nine, there's a possible move for you also coming in. So some of y'all might be getting an offer to move for money, for work. Um, move on from a relationship. Some of y'all are not letting go of something so that you can create something new. Okay, for my single Capricorns, oh, single Capricorns, you are just thinking about yourself or the next earth sign you want to have. You want to get married. Capricorns, you either want to marry an entrepreneur or you want someone that you can establish a home with. But this is you investing in yourself, investing in your home. Whether you are wanting to con like be with somebody or not, the investment is going into the home, okay? Now, for my booed up Capricorns, what do we have? Booed up Capricorns. Oh, okay, interesting. Upright? No. Upright. Okay, Buddha. So I'm not telling you you're getting a divorce, but there is conversations about what's going on in this marriage because there is someone interfering. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or this is the energy of somebody who's saying everything is okay, I'm fine, it's all good, and they're not good. So this is where that conversation needs to happen. It doesn't signify it's over. But if I were to look at even these two, all these cards together, it's like not wanting to be aware of what's going on because she's not even looking at it. So if you're in a relationship, it's going to be important to talk about where do you see this going? How do you see this moving? Because saying everything is okay when it's not okay is not going to fix the situation. All right. So your Pluto retrograde card is no other than Kala Nash. I love this card. The swans on this card are all about purity, beauty, grace, love, balance, and being able to see into the future. Now, this is about alignment as above, so below, and it's located in the Isle of Lewis in Scotland, okay? Now, with this coming out, it's saying, maybe there was an event in your life, it didn't go very well, but the outcome, you, you, you need to reevaluate that outcome, okay? Maybe you've missed something. Losing a particular person may have allowed you to join a new group of friends, to heal your hurt, draw on your powers, change things. So maybe changing the perspective is what's going to help you. Now, this is a symbol of duration. That's what the swan is about. Now, your thoughts have the potential to become that to manifest for good or for ill, and it's time for you to take your power back. The top of the card is the constellation of Cygnus, the swan, the primary celestial focus here, okay? Now, it's also known as the Northern Cross, and it's in the shape of the Celtic Cross, as above, so below. So no matter what struggles you're facing, bring that order and stability as you move forward. Because Pluto is up in Capricorn making things happen this month, okay? Now... Your spiritual guidance is that of Mercury. Open communication is going to need to come forth. I'm also going to say be very aware that um, you're taking care of your health. It's time to speak up with love and to be heard. On a personal, on a personal spot, I don't even know what I was trying to say here, honor your resistance. Sometimes no action is the best of all. Wait for it. Wait for the right time. Wait for when you're in a loving vibration to have that communication with somebody. You don't come at somebody when you're angry. You come at them when you're happy. Now, well, I'm all in a better mood, okay? A better mood, Capricorn. All right, all right. Seven of Cups is your health card. I love this deck. This is the David Bowie Starman Tarot. 
This is Venus in Scorpio. This could be venereal disease, um, issues with the root chakra, like the genital area, um, painful menstruation, a lot of abusive arguments, and dangerous sexual encounters. So this is a warning. You are fertile, Capricorn. <clears throat> Pay attention what you're doing with your magic wand and your receiver, all right? Now, with this, what is your herb? Your herb... I hear my kids drink JBT after, what do I have with digestion? Where's the herb? I can't even see the herb. Juniper berries. I'm like, what is JB? Juniper berries is your herb. So this is a tonic and a diuretic, and it can be used for non-inflammatory urinary issues, fluid retention, and diabetes and digestion. You can make it into a tea, okay, for digestion. Good luck in sex, and it attracts love and magic and protection. It's tied to the planet of Saturn. It's tied to the element of fire, Apollo, Asherah, and Ast Ast Astart, okay? I haven't seen that right. Do not use if you're pregnant, okay? You can steep some in wine and drink a few sips daily to increase your fertility, okay? Your crystal is adacasamite. I'm probably saying it all wrong. <clears throat> this is for self-motivation, cleansing, and enthusiasm. Working with your sense of self and energy encourages independence and awareness. It's working with your heart chakra right now. Now, on a physical level, well, it also helps with astral work, like astral travel and like lucid dreaming, but it can be used to stimulate your chi energy to flow through your body. And it's great for the nervous system. It relieves stress and um, helps you with your elimination organs and works with your genitals. So with the seven of cups and this crystal coming out for the genitals, I'm going to say be very, very careful in any kind of sexual encounter this month. Okay. Keep it safe, Capricorn. This card indicates it's time to add some energy and drive to your dreams. So what can you do to do that? All right. Your color this month is going to be green and blue. Green for your heart chakra. Blue to communicate. All right. Because you want to open up that throat chakra to express exactly how you're feeling. So that is your read, Capricorn. Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. And if you're in the mood for a personal reading, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at Ariana Luciano. Be blessed, fam.